This video was brought to you by Samurai Buyer. <coughs> hey, my name is Jobby, and today we're taking a look. What is that? Anime turn into a donkey? What the fuck? Don't pull the trigger because I actually did some research. <coughs> Rody is an Italian brand of toy horses. They're basically exercise balls for kids. As for Hatsune Miku, she's a virtual pop star that Weibo's fap to. Who gives a shit? Now I actually enjoy some of Miku's music, but I'm in no way a super fan. However, I think I'm in love with this figure. Look, I'm a man, you know, I like beer and pussy. Beer and pussy. <laughs> but this thing is just so cute! And the painting and the sculpting on this figure is pretty much flawless. If you're familiar with Miku, her body design is nothing new. You got the dress, you got the sleeves, you got the booty. Only thing that's missing is the Unit 1 tattoo on her arm. They moved that design on one of her pigtails. Alright, this is obviously kibble. I mean, they're not even trying to hide it. But I honestly don't mind at all. The various kibbly bits add to her unique mechanical look. And it separates her from all the other Miku bullshit. Look at her face. God, I just wanna... Smash it with a hammer. You even get an alternate face. Just remove her hair. Pop her face off. God! Freaking damn it! Jesus, I need to die. This shit is too cute. The base that she's standing on is absolutely necessary to keep her from falling down. It's physically impossible for her to stand up on her own. For obvious reasons. Adding to her head weight are these die-cast metal ears. They're very cool to the touch. I think these balls are die-cast too, but I'm not so sure. <laughs> Yep, that's definitely metal. She's also got metal legs and a metal backpack. This figure is heavier than she looks. The base itself looks very nice, and there's something written in the front. Does anyone here read Klingon? I'm just kidding. It actually says kill yourself. She's got a good amount of accessories. She's got a pair of open hands and a keyboard. The legs attach in a certain order, so make sure you check out the instructions. And the keyboard plugs right onto the base. Miku's lack of elbows makes her look like she's slamming on the keyboard like some... Dead meme. Speaking of dead memes... Oh no... Miku's cover of that song, the Iaben Polka. If I butchered the pronunciation, I don't really care. It was one of her first popular hits, and now she's forever associated with the Green Onion. In other words, cancer. Here's a cool little feature about the bass. All of her accessories can fit very neatly under here. Except the extra face. Put in your butthole or whatever. I'm actually confused about why she doesn't have any elbows. I mean, they bothered to give her knees. Why not elbows? Ah, oh, well, at least she's got a swivel at the head. Ball joint. Hinge joint. More ball joint. In and out. Swivel here. Ab crunch. Ball joint. Dead meme here. And that's it. She's also quite small. Here's the Soul of Chogokin Monster Hunter, Soul of Chogokin Gaugai Gar, Figma Madoka Kaname, and the SH Monster Arts Godzilla. Now let's move on to the only reason why I got this figure in the first place. What can I say? I'm a sucker for anything that transforms. No matter how gay- And here we have her roadie mode. So fucking the rounded shapes and the cute face make this thing so huggable. I also really like the text on the sides. That says roadie. That says Chogokin. Look at this charming little musical note. I want to puke. As for posability, yeah. Let's do some size comparisons. Here's Monster Hunter, Gaugaigar, Madoka, and Godzilla. If you have any smaller action figures, you can totally take them on a roadie ride. Overall, this figure's awesome. <sighs> this figure is a must-have if you're a Miku fan. Or if you're just a fucking fruit tart. Chogokin figures are usually not the cheapest, but this figure is very affordable. Especially if you get it from Samurai Buyer. Thank you, Misaki, for sending me this figure. Samurai Buyer is an online store that specializes in Japanese stuff. They've got a wide selection of items, ranging from figures to onoholes. Please look up onohole, it's definitely family friendly. And if I wasn't enough of a sellout, enter the coupon code JOBBY963 on your next purchase to get 50% off of your service fee. <coughs> 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 <coughs>
Oh shit, not a bad deal if I say so myself. <laughs> Kill me, please. I want to die. I also do a podcast, I guess. Like, comment, subscribe. Fuck!